Hey guys, guess what? There's a new Smash Bros. update. Hallelujah. So I just woke up, heard about the new update from a text from a friend, and I figured, you know what, maybe I'll record my reaction to this. See if we get anything cool. The only thing I know that was added was the Mario Maker stage. I don't know if there's any new characters, any new costumes, or any other stages beside that. Okay, I'm gonna use my hand to cover up whatever is on, shows up on the screen immediately, just in case. I got my hand over the DLC icon. It looks like there's different costumes in that. I can. What is. Is that Verity Staff? Okay. No new fighter. Uh, stages. Mario Maker. Pirate Ship! Sweet! That's one of the stages I really wanted back. Awesome! Something on the Wii U. Did they get a 3DS for No. Just for the Wii Interesting. Alright, that's cool. I like that. Put my hand back up again, because... I think there's a video... There should be a video at the top for the costumes. Yep, there's Wave 4, so the costume video is right here. Let's full screen this. Me Fighter, suit up for Wave 4! Business! <laughs> we got a briefcase for the gun, that's awesome. St oh, don't be wolf, don't be wolf! Okay. I nearly had a heart attack there for a second. That's a cool costume. F Zero. Got a Captain Falcon outfit, that's cool. Pretty sure we already had the headgear. Alright. Mario. To oh gosh! That is terrifying. Dickers. That was Verity Staff. Alright, sweet. That's a good costume. What? Ha! <laughs> That's awesome! No way! Whoa! Oh my gosh, I want that so bad. I'm done with that the second this is oh. That is so cool! Monster Hunter co I did not expect them to add Monster Hunter stuff, but... That is so cool! That Wrath loves armor! Want... Want, I want this so bad. That is so cool. Astro Bundle and the fourth collection. So it's just the stages and the costumes. Alright. I was hoping for a character, but that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So, as you noticed, more Smash content has been released. And as always, I'm going to talk about it. And unlike the last few times, I actually remember to properly record my reaction! Yay! Unfortunately, my capture card isn't working properly, so I can't record any footage. First, let's talk about game balance. Like the previous patches, several characters have been buffed and nerfed, with this patch focusing a lot more on the custom moves than the previous ones. I'm not gonna list them, like always I'll just leave a link in the description, but I'll mention one in particular. Luigi. He got a very well-deserved nerf. He has so many annoying, easy-to-use, brain-dead combos. I hate fighting him. I'm so happy he got nerfed. Then there's the new stages. There were two new stages added to the Wii U version. And to my surprise, two to the 3DS version as well. Both versions got the brand new Mario Maker stage. Which is probably the best DLC stage that we've received so far. The stage changes each time you play. Platforms will be in different places, sometimes there's lava, objects will move in different ways, there will be different kinds of platforms, etc. The stage will periodically switch between different themes, which, while it doesn't affect the gameplay, is a very nice touch. It's not very groundbreaking in terms of customization, but it's enough that every playthrough feels different. The next stage is the pirate ship stage from Brawl. 
being one of my favorite stages from Brawl, and being based on one of my favorite games no less, I am very happy to see this stage return. But for some reason, this is only on the Wii U version. I don't know why it was excluded on the 3DS. Maybe it's too complicated, or they feel fine with spirit tracks in the 3DS, I don't know. So, instead of the pirate ship, we got Duck Hunt. I really don't care about this all that much, but it's a nice addition for 3DS owners. What's even better is that this stage is free, which is nice. I'm personally hoping that this will lead to some 3DS stages being transferred over to the Wii U. I'd love to see an HD version of Magicant. And then we've got the costumes. The generic costume for this wave is the business suit, which is, well, a business suit. Don't really have much to say about it. Other than the gunner, it's using a briefcase as a gun. That's pretty cool. Next are two costumes based off of existing characters, a fox gunner and a Captain Falcon brawler. I couldn't care less about these costumes. If I wanted to play as them, I'd pick the actual characters. But I suppose they're well designed. Fox hat looks kind of weird. Toad got an actual costume, which is... fine, I guess? This feels like another example of wasted potential to me. Toad doesn't fight like a brawler. It doesn't fit. Also, this me is terrifying and needs to be killed with fire. The Veridi costume looks amazing. Though, again, I don't feel like it fits. I can't see Veridi fighting like a sword fighter. She uses magic. It doesn't make sense. It's a huge waste of potential. But you know what? That doesn't matter. Because we got Monster Hunter costumes! These are so cool! I never expected we'd get Monster Hunter costumes in this game. But they're such an obvious choice now that I've seen them. Since Monster Hunter is based on character customization, having them as Smash costumes actually fits really, really well. And I didn't have to farm for Rathalos plates to get them. I really hope they added more armor sets like these in the future. They easily beat out the Black Knight as my favorite new costumes. And that's all for this patch. My biggest complaint is that we didn't get a new character. It's been so long since we got Ryu, Roy, and Lucas, and I'm getting so tired of waiting. But with the ballot ending shortly, I'm sure we'll get an announcement soon. Speaking of the ballot, I'm actually going to make a video on that before it closes. I've had a lot of people ask me to do it, so I figure I might as well. That should be uploaded either later today or tomorrow. So until then, I hope you're all enjoying life, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!